Is that somebody knocking on the door? Uh, could be. I heard something. Come on in. Better not invite them in. It might be a songwriter. Oh, that's song. true. Or somebody looking for a free concert. Yeah, I never know who's coming in. Don't come in. <laughs> Smells of ashes and stale beer. <laughs> Just like I always dreamed it would. Hey, Blake. Hey, man. Come on in. Just walking around listening to uh, down, this little reggae right here. cowboy here. Oh, wait, is this an interview? Yeah, oh, yeah. Is this an intervention? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Call it That's that. it. Woo! Welcome to the poor side of the country music. Oh, yeah. I always wondered what it was like. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh, nothing, man. We just uh, thought we'd shoot the bull. Hey, first, of all, first thing is one. Thanks for bringing a couple old hippies on the road. Yeah, with you got a lot of nerve, man. Oh my God! A lot of nerve. Just let your love Hello, I'm flow. David. I'm Howard. Mountain stream and let your love grow. Small with the Bellamy Brothers. And let your love show. If you can't live it down, you might as well live it up. It's the season. It ain't nothing but something let to do. Let your love fly like a bird on. As far as everybody knows, we're just a nice, normal family. We're just like everybody else. We just play music That's for a living. The reason. Just let your love flow. And you're watching the Honky Tonk Ranch. You actually uh, uh, did a kind of a revolutionary thing country music on the country music tour. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, what was what I concept, thinking? Man. Oh my God, I know, that's scary, isn't it? No, you know, look, and you guys know this, after a while it's like we get stuck in a rut, you know, and, and I don't know about other genres, but I know country does it, you know, and so that we see something to work for somebody else. Not that you guys ever did that, but it seems like now, like these these, uh, what's the word I'm looking Go ahead for? Go and say it. <laughs> I know, right? That's it, last night's kicking in. But like these, whatever gets popular, that kind of becomes the, the, the template. Yeah. yeah, the trend. That's yeah. it, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, you know, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to have, instead of, you know, three opening acts when people aren't even in the building, you know, I wanted to have people on the show with me. And, and, and I wanted it to be my heroes, guys I looked up to, guys who whose records made me want to do what I do, and which is y'all, and it's John Anderson, and it's, you know, it's... Well, it's you've got to be somebody's hero. I'm glad to be yours. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good bunch, man. You couldn't be out here with... We were in a rut. We were in a ditch. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you pull us out, man. That's not true. That is not true. Yeah, you know, we didn't hear we didn't hear till later on that John was going to be on the tour too. Oh, really? And uh, that was like icing on the cake, man, having John. You know, you know I, and I didn't even realize. Of course, now that I think about it, you guys are both from Florida, came up, you know, and kind of in the same era of, of country music. So of course, you guys have probably known each other for years, but it never even dawned on me how probably many times you guys have crossed paths over the years. And John told me y'all recorded together, yeah. too. I didn't yeah. even know that. What's yeah, Alligator on? Alley. We did a song yeah, on our um, Angels and Outlaws CD called Alligator Alley mm. that I wrote. It's a, kind of a swampy right. tune. Yeah, it, it's great, man. I just I, I, I listen to that song sometimes just to just wait for John to come in, man. You hear that, <laughs> just to hear that voice. Oh, I know. It's you classic. know, we were in a meeting at Warner Brothers used to be on one of the labels we were on, and uh, we were in a meeting about releasing a song called uh, Wet T-Shirt or Whistling Dixie. And, and <laughs> you were trying to decide which one? Well, we were. No, we, we, we were, were sure, Whistling but Dixie. they weren't. Oh, okay. They weren't, and it was kind of a battle, and, and, we're, and, and uh, Nora Wilson, I don't know if you knew Nora, mm -hmm. Nora oh, yeah. walks in and he had, he had the demo from uh, uh, Swingin'. Swingin'. John, he just they just cut it. He said, I want y'all to listen to this. And uh listen to it and sat there and listened to that and broke the broke the meeting up. It was, it was so good. <laughs> so, man, you better put that out quick. Yeah. He said, what do y'all think? He said, just release it. Yeah. Release yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So that was really strange that we got to hear that song yeah. before anybody ever.
That's like the best fence we've ever had on this ranch. It's the best. You know, growing up in our old home place here in Florida, our dad, Homer, would be really proud of us because we never had fences this no, good. No, man, them old yeah. Kramer cows can't even yeah. tear it up. Tear mm -hmm. it up. Not at all. Yeah. It's, it's, you can't go wrong with this company. It's Southwest Fence and Supply, right? That's it. That's it. Just to keep the cows out of the cornfield. I'm building barbed wire. Just keeping the cows out of the cornfield. I'm building barbed wire fence. It's my turn, Mel. Okay. You, you told me you were going to shine and fix this up. I know. And I, I need more. I, oh, my gosh. Wait You're minute. wearing me out. Look. I, I got to get yeah, ready, too. Fine. Now, listen, y'all are going to be second to me. I'm going to go see Blake Shelton right well, now. Well, so no, I'm going. We're coming, right. <laughs> we're coming with you. Yeah. We got to get this now, going. Now, does this look all right? Yeah, it's cute. Oh, I'm gonna probably what you be, wearing with these? What kind of boots you got yeah, on there? Yeah, those are the ones you got me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think this will work. After this, y'all y'all going to Europe for a minute? Well, we we actually go out and do a bunch of dates in Texas and stuff, and then we go to Europe in uh, the end of June. Mm -hmm. and we got two big tours in the fall in Europe. We, actually, we we're in Europe the whole fall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do a full show now after this. Yeah, you kind of spoiled us. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I can't wait to go back and do a normal show because I don't have to stand around out there for three and a half hours. <laughs> Golly. Yeah. Man, it's starting. Those intermissions, I used to make fun of them. They're starting to seem yeah, pretty nice. Now I don't know yeah. if I can go back. Yeah, I'm spoiled, man. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that catering every day. And yeah, 
Well, if you're going to Texas, I'm sure every every single gig, somebody there's going to say, "Hey, man, we got the best barbecue." Mexican or barbecue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican yeah. or barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> what are we having today? A Mexican or barbecue? <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm on the Bellamy Brothers bus. Look at this, well, man. Yeah. This is the famous, this is from y'all's TV shows. Famous it's bus, a, isn't it? Best thing about this bus is it's paid for. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's usually when mine start breaking down. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, we never brag on it, though. We always yeah. cuss it, call it a piece of, a piece of uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is on RFD, yeah, right? You can't right. say. No, you can't. That's why this interview is hard to yeah. do. Well, we can. We, we can't cuss. We can't say words anything here. to say. Yeah. <laughs> we can. We can bleep things. Hey Howard, don't you hate it when these singers come on TV and they're trying to sell you their book and their CD and all that stuff? Oh man, I can't stand that. And don't you hate it when they get these pretty girls to wear all your swag and your concessions oh, and yeah. all your stuff? That's the worst. Honky Tonk Ranch TV.com. You know what? What we can do is we always have that. We always have that beer pong footage we can throw in. Yeah, yeah man, y'all. If y'all don't put that on the show, you have missed probably a chance to win an Emmy. <laughs> I mean, that is some classic stuff. Yeah. We're about to play beer pong with the Bellamy Brothers. Bellamy Brothers. <laughs> David and Howard. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you had that talent, that beer pong? My wife told me, she said, you should have known you could play beer pong because you could ring the trash can from the toilet across the room. You know? Oh, you can? Oh, yeah, because I, I do that all the time, but I never played beer pong. Yeah. So I didn't know what it was. So. They didn't have beer pong when I used to drink. What? <laughs> we just... Yeah, there was no uh, no game associated with it. Howard used to. Well, I don't know if we can tell that story no, either. Let's but not get into my drink. He used to drink, drive up orange, trap cars on the top of orange trees. <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> it wasn't a game. <laughs> it wasn't really. I was, a game. I was running from a cop. You know. Boy, if, if uh, you did these days what we did then, you'd never get out of jail. <laughs> no, you Four be, kids today. You'd be trendy, well, no you'd be a trending on, topic. There were no cars on the road then. Yeah, you don't hurt anybody but yourself no, exactly, for an orange yeah. tree. 
This is true, and I did. Yeah, I he's told, a little hard on horse I had to buy that horse tree for my neighbor at Torrey. You did? Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you run from the cops. I've learned a lot in this meeting. <laughs> Just to keep the cows out of the cornfield. I'm building barbed wire. Hey, how you doing? Chris Shaheen. Hey, Chris Anakin. Nice to meet you. H.C. H.C. Nice to meet you, Chris sir. Anakin, Southwest uh, Fence and Supply. Well, I guess uh, you guys need some fence for the, all those gates you bought. I heard you're going to save us a bunch of time. Uh, I believe that's been proven. All yeah. right. It's good to be back here. The Bellamy brothers hired us uh, 11 years ago, put up a bunch of fence, which I think you're pretty familiar with that. Yeah, H yeah that H fence has lasted. It's still in good shape. Yeah. Good, very good fence. He tested it well. Yeah, as I heard, of, Bray McCow went through it and it just sprung back up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, we, we put the test to her. That's and good. It works. It works. So you got a few new improved things you've uh, done since 11 years ago? Uh, we, we do. Yeah, we've changed our brace system up a little bit. We make them a little bit longer, a little bit deeper in the ground. Uh, they still have the, the same uh, capability or ability that you can put them in in like 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. No welding as before. Uh, we've gone with the, changed up a few things. Instead of all galvanized or all green painted, we've, we're now offering the rusted look, you know, this is a rusty pipe because it seems like a lot of people kind of want that that uh, that look for their property. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks neat. And uh, we also came up with a connector that's in the patent pending stage right now that uh, <clears throat> allows the wire to be put up on the fence and just give it a kind of a, a twist and it locks it in instead of wrapping wire, which takes minutes. And that's, it, that's the pigtail looking thing on right, the Right, right. Yeah, we're calling it the curly connector. There you go. But what's neat about it is it just takes seconds to put it on, the wire, install the wire. Um, eventually, we're going to have that product available for wood uh, wood posts. But right now, it's just a weld on, you know, for the steel pipe post. So we're able to use that post every 40 foot instead of using any T post. And then we're putting our, our super stays in between. Those are made out of a high-density polyethylene. So we're spanning those out 10 foot apart between a 40 foot span. Redneck Series, where do we get all the cool honky-tonk ranch merchandise from? 1-800-622-1080. Honky-tonk-ranch-tv.com. Thank you. Honey. That's but I want us four to get a picture if we can before we all we skedaddle out of here. 
over here. <laughs> he was on stage, so I have to do it right after the set. Will y'all still be around? Okay. <laughs> it's oh, it's a foldable <laughs> wood beer pong game. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you'll need practice. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I've never seen one. Damn it. You know what? We'll put this in Howard's barn. Perfect. That's yeah. what we eat during the reality show. We eat there. And you can play beer pong. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's pretty, pretty badass. Next time. I'll be, yeah, we practice up. Y'all never do this. Yeah, you're going to so. keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was seriously such an honor oh, to tour it's great with y'all. To seriously, it's great. like life-changing experience for me and um, someone asked me today what was the best part of the tour and I said the Bellamy brothers beating me in beer pong <laughs> so thank you and let's get a picture before the night's over at our church Blake's on the stage but he said if y'all are in them and I'm in mine when he comes off stage we'll do it Okay. Deal? We can do that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you honey. on to two things on this tour we've never done and that's karaoke and beer pong you know so that's that's really something yeah you didn't get in on the flip cup did you I, lauren's got all these games she's, oh, she's the one full of games golly yeah, man it's like she is if i had that energy oh lord i don't know what i'd do i'd probably be playing flip cup and <laughs> beer pong every night probably lauren, every time you walk past her dressing room there's some kind of event going on yeah, i don't ever remember having that much energy no well, Lauren's great, though, man. She's she's just... You know, the, speaking of this whole crew is great. My compliment. You know, I was still in Narville last night. I've never worked with an organization. But I said, I said I, I've even looked for a butthole on here, but I, I, I can't find <laughs> one. There's always one. Have you not met Trace Atkins? <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you to him tonight. But he's too big to talk no, about. I know, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Hey, did y'all see that uh, video of David and Howard with Blake Shelton doing karaoke? No, no I didn't see, didn't see that. You got it. Oh, yeah. You didn't see this? Yeah. yeah. I love you for all the wrong reasons. Get in on this. Can I please get in? Just like them guys, they ought to be here building fence with us. Some rock stars up here just goofing off, having a good time, and we're here slaving. Mm. I can't, I can't believe that. <laughs> That's what they do to us every time. Every time. <laughs> If you're like most of us, you grew up on those great Bellamy Brothers songs. Well, now you can get all that music in one collection, plus their brand new book and all the great merchandise from their new reality show, Honky Tonk Ranch. Their 40 Years album is a double CD of all their biggest hits, plus brand new music. 
Their great new autobiography, Let Your Love Flow, The Life and Times of the Bellamy Brothers, is also available with a full line of Honky Tonk Ranch t-shirts, bandanas, koozies, keychains, and a whole lot more from their new hit reality show. The duo that sold 40 million albums, charted 20 number one hit singles, and has toured in over 70 countries worldwide are now on your TV with their new reality show, Honky Tonk Ranch. Buy something for yourself today or get a gift for a friend or family member. Just go to honkytonkranchtv.com. Redneck Series, where do we get all the cool Honky Tonk Ranch merchandise from? <laughs> 